Let's talk about Laz. Laz! 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 Zeta Division is the sole representative of Japan at Masters Reykjavik, and Laz is both the emotional and physical leader of the team. Even with the weight of an entire nation on his back, Laz has stepped up big time and is putting up superior numbers to some of the biggest names in the tournament. Now, I want to specifically break down this ace by Laz on Chamber because I think it highlights a couple really important things about the game of Valorant. We need to start this round by talking about positioning. Every great play starts with great positioning, and this round is no different. Laz uses the incredible defensive mobility of Chamber to take a super awkward position for the attackers to clear. This is a particularly strong spot to play for Laz because the attackers have no Jet, who would normally updraft onto this upper box and clear it. Instead, the attack must use Sova's drone to lead the way, and this brings us to the next important point, which is teamwork. Without the help of Sugar Zero, Laz probably gets easily cleared from this angle and gives up a huge chunk of map control to the attackers. Expecting this standard Sova drone to come out, though, Zeta has set up to break it and secure Laz's forward position. Without the drone, Fnatic must now hard clear the angles, and this gives Laz enough of an advantage to eliminate Sage and teleport to safety. However, this is not quite the safe getaway that he had hoped for, as Fnatic has set up a cool double flank through under the middle tube to create a pincer attack on the B site. Laz clearly expected this might be a potential move for Fnatic, as he's set up the rendezvous to give him a bit of cover from mid, and he then showcases some elite game sense to anticipate the pressure from that direction. From there, we get to see reflexes and raw aim take over, as Laz shuts down Viper with a perfect burst of shots. It's pretty clear from his reaction after the kill on Viper that he expects more players from middle, but he also knows that there is more pressure coming from B main. As he swings out, he gets caught off guard by how far the attack and KO has advanced, but he does have the high ground advantage and it appears that KO is a little bit unaware of his positioning. We get to see the sharp reaction time and aim again though as Laz sprays down KO while retreating into cover. There's a little bit of run and gun action here, but we'll let it slide this time. By now the second mid flanker is crossing to pressure Laz, but this time it was almost certainly communicated by Sova who had been watching middle. We get to see some next level aim and discipline from Laz here as he only has 5 bullets remaining and it would be very easy to panic or spray in response to yet another enemy swinging out to fight. Instead, Laz fires off 3 one tap shots and eliminates the attacking chamber. With only 2 bullets left, Laz again senses danger from B main. He swings a bit wide initially with the crosshair on bullet number one, but snaps back to the head for a final one-tap shot to finish off his ammo and the round with an ace. I want to quickly slow down these last two kills to just appreciate the clean strafe and shoot movement from Laz. Each shot is punctuated by a small sidestep, and the timing of the shots is perfectly synced with his counter strafe. <laughs> Oh! 